Good morning. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We can't start the day out of focus. What is going on? Oh, good morning, guys. So, oh, oh, person, oh, neighbor. That's awkward. So, number one, my car is a disaster. Like, I'm actually pretty embarrassed. What is going on? Of how bad my car looks. Caught you guys. Today, um, oh, for my research methods class, it's like literally mandatory. Like if I have to go to like these study participation things and I have to go to, like I have to, every time I go, like every, t every class is like two to three points and I have to have up to 24 points in order to pass the class. Well, wrong way, what am I doing? So yeah, I'm really annoyed about that because my main campus is like Tampa campus, but the campus that this class I go to is in St. Pete, which is an hour away from my house. So I have to drive an hour away to go to this stupid like research study or whatever for 45 minutes and then drive an hour back. And it's my day off and I get to sleep in, but not today. So it's a currently 9.02, that's what I'm doing. It's only 45 minutes, which isn't that bad. It's just like the thought of having to drive all the way over there, which is annoying. And then after that, I have, I'm gonna start volunteering at the hospital because I wanna be a child life specialist. So I'm gonna start volunteering. So I'm going to a, like a volunteer orientation at St. Joe's Hospital, which is like a local hospital from 1.30 to 2.30 and then, yeah, and then we're doing something exciting tonight but I'm not gonna tell you yet because you have to wait and find out. I made it to school now as you can see this is my campus well not my home campus this is the other campus University of South Florida I can't really see anything but now I'm going to figure out where this class is because I have no idea because like I said I've only come here once a week on Wednesdays for one class so that's the only like thing I know like that's the only class I know where it is so I have no clue where the other ones is so I'm gonna figure that out it's 9 40 so I got here in 40 minutes which is usually around the time I just want to give myself extra time just in case since it's so far there can be traffic anywhere so it's 9 40 so I got here exactly in, in 40 minutes so it gives me 20 minutes to find out what the classroom is and where the freaking building is and if I'm even parked in the right area so yeah So lost. I'm in the stairwell. I think I'm in the right building. Now I have to find the classroom and have to. Pee. Oh my gosh, guys! If it just seems like I I got into the class and I just came out, that's literally what just happened. Ah, my hair! Literally, ten minutes later. Like I just put the like last time I talked to you guys, it was probably like 15 minutes ago. It's 10:15 now. The thing is over. It was the stupidest thing I have ever, like, spent time on. Okay, so well, I'm going to, like, place you guys here, and I'm going to explain what just happened. Let me put my steering wheel down a little. Okay, that's in, okay, so I got to the classroom, and I found the classroom, and there was literally nobody around. So I was like, oh, my gosh, like, this is so weird. Like, I was like, there's nobody around. Like, is am I in the right place? Am I in the right building? So I was, like, texting Steven. I was like, I'm freaking out. Like, I don't know if I'm in the right place. So... 
I like left and Steven's like go ask someone and there was literally like one person at a time in the building and if anything it was just like the cleaning people I come back and there's somebody in the classroom I was like oh crap like is that the teacher so she's like come in come in she's like okay so you're gonna sit here we're waiting it's only two of you that signed up for this study it's only you and this other girl Samantha so all you have to do she's like well and it was like 10.05 she's like okay well she's not here yet so just answer these 20 questions it was literally trivia questions like 20 questions of trivia like who was the first person to walk on the moon she was like you can leave now and I was like what and literally I just left and she's like okay you got the points keep in mind I drove I drove and I almost in like 40 minutes away woke up early drove 40 minutes away for three points okay it only gives me three points I need 21 more points of those and it literally I only was here for 10 minutes what a waste of gas whatever I guess it was easy since I didn't have to do anything but yeah that's my story so I'm home now it's currently 11 o'clock I'm drinking a yoohoo throwback Thursday these were the ish back then and Stephen will be home from work at 12 o'clock and then I convinced him to take me to my orientation at the hospital so after that I think we're gonna go to Panera what's new to go have lunch since it's right next to the hospital and then he'll wait in the car with me while I'm at my orientation and it's only an hour long so it won't go fast and he's probably gonna be doing schoolwork the whole time okay guys so it's like hmm. one second so right now I have to do for like the um, my orientation I have to like do this quiz before I go and it has to be completed so that's what I'm about to work out in work on now I did the first page but I still have like two more pages to do of the quiz and I can't go to orientation unless I finish the quiz so that's what I'm working on now it's 11 30 so Steven is out of work so he should be home in 30 minutes and then we will continue our day so I just wanted to update you and this quiz is kind of hard for being a volunteer quiz but you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? He's getting mad at me because I always take the long way around instead of the short way. But we're at Panera now and he picked me up. Say hi, Steven. Hello. But yeah, we're at Panera now. Um, there's a really long line. And then after this, uh, the hospital's right behind us. So we're going to the hospital so I can go to my orientation. Look how cool you can order in one of these kiosks. That's awesome. The feet. What are you doing? Oh. That's so cool! I love the name too, look at that! Cool! Steve-o! <laughs> just got our food and we decided to sit outside because it's a really pretty day. And Steven got a panini with mac and cheese and I got a panini and mac and cheese too! Mm. Mm, that was good. Right. So we're at the hospital now and we're walking. Right now Steven's just going to be watching uh, Dexter or doing schoolwork. Preferably schoolwork because he needs to do that while I'm in the orientation. So wish me luck. Hey guys. So we just left St. Joe's. Um, Eric her orientation. Hello. How'd your orientation go? It was good. It was. No one cares. Anyway, now. <laughs> mm. You let me take over. This is a Steve. Maybe you have to do it farther. Anyway, um, we're at Haverty's now. We have to pick up a couch for Melissa's parents since I'm the only one around and they know that has a truck. I guess it's the good and bad things of owning a truck. Because you have to help everyone out. Um, Erica's here. Hello. Now can I tell them about my orientation? No. It went really good. It's kind of overwhelming because there's a lot of stuff. And next time, like the next thing I have to do is go to a training. And that training is only given while I work. So I have to find out a time that works. So I can go to a training and then become... What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. You're zooming. I'm not stupid. So I can become a volunteer. So it was good though. And it went by really fast. It was only an hour long. Yep. And then... I don't know if she told you... No, no. I told them it would be a surprise. Oh yeah. We're doing something exciting tonight. Yeah. Uh, we have to wait and see. What I'm wearing... Why are getting so close? I think back then. I literally have been here the whole time. No, you get really excited and you hop in okay. that middle seat. <laughs> what I'm wearing... <laughs> what I'm wearing is a hint. Let me say. So, me and Steve are talking about how, like, when you become married, you get, like, you make your own hashtag. So, everything... <laughs> Hold on. Don't say it yet. Don't say it yet. So, we're thinking of hashtags for when I... Stop! 
I want to hold on. Wait, like we're thinking of that was George. <laughs> George Osborne. Uh, Where'd you get gorgeous from? I don't know. I thought it said gorgeous and it made sense. And so we're thinking George. of a hashtag that like we would use for when we get engaged. And Steven came up with, oh, hang on, hang on, uh, hang on. he's like, oh, well, your last name is Maldonado and my last name is Osborne. So we put the M and the O. So he was like, more, more money, more family. More problems, more, oh yeah, more money, more family. <laughs> That is such a stupid hashtag. And then I came up with, um, moving out. Yeah, that was retarded. And then we're trying to think of hashtags that we can, like, ship our, I don't know, come with a cute hashtag for when we get engaged, but nothing's coming into play. I said becoming an O. You also said, the bigger the hole, bigger the, oh, the bigger the hole. <laughs> o Town. <laughs> no, I never. You just made that up. I never said that. Yeah, welcome. Uh, I'm going to O Town. <laughs> I, what was the last one you said that was terrible? I said to keep in your pocket and never use again. Um, <laughs> oh, expanding to an O. Yeah, expanding to an O. <laughs> Who the hell wants to use that? We're waiting for Melissa's dad to. And he said his brother's coming too, but I don't even know if he had a brother. <laughs> Show me the money. Okay. <laughs> M-O Babe, that's like literally so clever Show me the money Why do you, why? It's money, just say money M-O is still the first two letters of the name I don't understand why you keep changing it And pronouncing money <laughs> Okay guys, so we're leaving Melissa's house right now That's her house in the back They got the couches out And now we're on our way to Steven's house Because I have to do that stupid assignment and I have to do, and then we're going to the super exciting thing tonight, but I can't tell you yet. But okay. Steven is going to take a siesta. That's a nap if nobody knows Spanish. Peace out. Steven's going to take a nap. I woke up 5.45 today. Okay, and I woke up at 8. And what did you do today? You didn't work. I went to school, and then I went to for work. For five minutes. She drove for her thing for like 10 minutes, and that it was it. It doesn't matter. I still drove like an hour away. I, I drove two hours away. I had to go to work and go Listen, back. The point is, the point is, I help you. And I sat through your orientation. Okay, and I sat through your exam. But you wanted to do that. You <laughs> offered, and you wanted and to. You come. offered to take me. Yeah, exactly. That's being nice. Okay, now I'll be the no. worst argument ever. No, you wanted to come with me for some odd reasons for my exam. Because I wanted to be a supporter. Babe, you can support from home. Literally, all I do, you can't be in there with me. I, babe, I just wanted to be nice. I'm not saying it wasn't nice. All I'm asking is for your help on my assignment. We'll see how you behave. Whatever. Ah, the ox me. We're out of Bulls game. Bulls game. <laughs> USF Bulls game. I don't know what the hell she's talking about. Bulls game. And we're going to meet Matt and Betsy, the people we went carving pumpkins with. Yeah. No, we didn't carve pumpkins. We went pumpkin patching with. Oh, we went pumpkin patching with. You were. Right? <laughs> I know, I know. I'm just so tired. The Bulls game. Oh, oh my god. I don't know why I keep saying but we're at the Bulls, Bulls game. game. <laughs> and can't take you anywhere. Whatever. Steven's like friend gave him like two um passes and it's like really good viewing. And we're having so much fun and they're winning. So it's a good night and it's great weather outside, right baby? Oh yeah. Perfect night for football. Woo! Yeah. From you, whoa, spotlight. We are back from the. U it's so creepy. 
We're back from the USF game, and it was a great amount of fun. They won, I think, so far. Yeah. We left a little early, but they were pretty, like, how do you say it? Ahead. Ahead, yeah. So, I'm sure they would win. What, what game we go to? Did I say Bucks again? I don't know. USF. The Bulls. The Bulls. My school. Okay, anyways, so... Um, yeah, we're gonna end the vlog here because we're back at my house now and we're just gonna chill, watch some Dexter, maybe, and he's gonna go home. But yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. Oh, and by the way, his friend, Joe, gave us the hookups and gave us two free tickets and it was like in the 100 section. It was a great seat, so thanks to Joe. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. Please share. If you want to see more vlogs of us, hit the subscribe button down below. And we'll see you in the next one. Do you have anything to say? Go Bulls. Go Bulls! Yay! Oh, we just made it to the flea market. Oh, yeah. About to buy some cool shit. Babe, I can't put back to that. And it feels so nice. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. If you watch my other vlogs, I don't want to waste what's cursed to be an overtime. But yeah.